ஹே ஹாய் ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை நியூ வீடியோ திஸ் சம்பத்தி வாட்சிங் சம்பத் சம்ஃபெக்ஸ் யூடியூப் சேனல் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் போக்கோ எக்ஸ் த்ரீ என்எஃப்சி கஸ்டம் ரோம் ரிவ்யூஸ் பேக் வித் நியூ வீடியோ கேஸ் யூ கேஸ் கேன் சி ஹியர் ஆண்ட்ராய்ட் வெர்ஷன் தேர்ட்டின் த ப்ராஜெக்ட் ஆஃப்டர் லைஃப் வெர்ஷன் சிக்ஸ் பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ கிரீடி ஃபிஃப்த் டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஃபெப்ரவரி செக்யூரிட்டி பேட்ச் கூகுள் ப்ளே சிஸ்டம் அப்டேட் ஆண்ட்ராய்ட் தேர்ட்டின் அகைன் கர்னல் யூஸ் ஜெரிஸ் Shairu Dragnil, Kernel has been used, build number, you can see base band version, Silinx status is M4 Sync and this is the Afterlife project 6.0 and this is typical home screen with pre-installed wallpapers, if I press and hold here, you get after home settings, you can actually change the icon pack and notification dots, you can enable icon size, you can increase or decrease font size and even maximum lines for app label and force themed icons. It is not going to work, I think so. You need to manually enable in the wallpaper center style here and select your themed icons. Now you can see that's how it looks like. And again, there are some customizations in the miscellaneous. Again, you can hide and protect the apps. You can restart the launcher. And you also get these options like into the app drawer. Again, themed icons are also given. App search bar, row height, background opacity. You can adjust. Let's see now. it is actually everything is in now uh, themed icons i really like it the implementation each and every app is forced to themed icons really really good and this is the quick settings toggle definitely it's going to make difference from any other custom roms it's quite different from any other custom roms you can see this is how it actually looks like and i also get other options like here if you want to edit you will get other options also as you can see on the screen i really like the quick settings toggles here they are responsible and smooth here not just they are different from others so it's also smoother from other particular roms and if you press and hold here there are even widget settings also as you can see you can drag and add them here that's how it looks like after life project home screen and quick settings customizations let's see into settings itself this how the settings looks like very simple here into after laps you get lot more customization now into the themes status bar again after life logo i have been enabled you can actually position them and status bar icons again individually you can enable or disable from here clock position you can even make it to center as you can see and am pm style it's hidden if you want you can make small and normal you can do that network traffic indicators are given here you can hide it if it is inactive top padding i have adjusted to minus 1 because uh, it's not completely clear padding you can do left and right and even top padding you can do status bar wifi standard other things you can check out on the screen these are the status bar customizations and quick settings again you get plenty here colored qs icons animation style and animation interpolator battery settings again battery styles you get plenty here battery bar as you can see once you enable that you get plenty of options again you can adjust the colors based on direction and other customizable has been given here lock screen again use custom lock screen if want you can do that uh, as you can see i'll flip it to ios this how it looks like and other options you can check out there are some options if i go into again system notifications you get plenty of customizations here too edge lighting options is also given as you can see just enable that whenever you get any notification you can actually choose the custom color from here also that's really good and buttons customization just volume you can click to partial screenshot and gestures option into system navigation you can check out you will get options to increase the pill length radius and even the bottom i really like it guys maximum control has been given for pill length here that i really like it swipe to screenshot and one handed mode everything is working fine in this particular rom power menu advanced restart button is also given here in the general you get miscellaneous settings here unlimited photo storage and unlimited high fps like bgm kind of games is also enable or disable from here definitely it's going to make huge difference and themes and after lab username and dual tone mode and dashboard style category preference style again there are some customizations you can actually customize the icon signal and wifi icon 
headline body front and shapes from here now moving into actual settings like this sound and vibration again you get plenty of option do not disturb mode is also given here smart pause now playing live capture media vibration and haptics again you get individual options here and this is the options other options you get into the display again you get plenty of options dark theme once i turn this out it will be not in, not in the yeah pitch black condition yeah, as you can see turn off now yeah you can shred it out night light feature is there and again colors options keep to boosted here and live display is also given here color calibration picture adjustment you can do that from here smooth and display is given display cutout again let's select this double cutout yeah as you can see and notch bar tall cutout punch hole cutout let's check out out yeah make it to device default allow window level blurs is there tap to wake full screen apps if certain app is not playing you can only blur disable from here accessibility menu again which is my personal favorite which is gonna work fine password some account shift and uh, emergency everything is working fine location google maps are working fine no problem regarding that security you get both face unlock fingerprint unlock and app lock let me show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see it's quite fast accurate and reliable and the following by that face unlock as you can see it's even faster than fingerprint unlock i really liking the speeds here and into system again you get some system updater but don't recommend i will not recommend that check out flashing method in the description very similar to that you can flash this also you will get this direct sound settings headphone type preset type and smart scene selection these are the things you will get it haptic feedback level you can adjust from here uh, that's how it is guys everything i have explained here we'll move into some results what i got in this particular rom there is a gallery application here let's try that and this is while flashing i took it as you can see and we'll start from results here geekbench yeah Enter to benchmark you can see 3,95,110 is the score and 4.2 degrees centigrade is the temperature raise and 3 percentage of battery has been dropped 10.2.5 is the version and 6.2.2 is the kick bench version 752 is the single score 1889 is the multi score and 13 lanes 4.14.343 shiru drag nail kernel has been used and this is charging rapidly support is there 33 watt charging support you can see it around 11 22 it is 37 and 12 22 it is 85 percentage and this it is profile max getting pass and basic integrity and device is certified and so using payment application like phone pay google pay even as they all are going to work fine without any problem and this is uh, hdr 10 support and level 1 certification hence watching ott application is also not a problem and these are the reader speed test with graph and numericals and this is the internet speed test i have airtel 200 mps plan it's pulling up to 350 i don't know why and these are the results what i got in this particular rom guys let's see i'll add the game here bgmi and make it into performance mode and let's see how it actually handles in this particular rom into the graphics settings you guys can see smooth plus extreme plus you get it up to 90 fps let's see actually how it actually handles in this particular one this is the volume panel let me increase the brightness to max here yeah you can even enable the fps count from here settings fps info okay i will drag this to this side just that you guys can see yeah even in the counter attacks there are no lag it's not that smooth but you will get that option to increase or make some differences using magic model since it's an android 13 based from it's gonna make huge difference case once you use those models but it's not again day night difference and again if you want to compare with other device it will not gonna happen that remember this is snapdragon 732g powered smartphone you will get the maximum output that's it you won't even compare with snapdragon 8 series or anything like that yeah gaming experience is fine 
haven't faced any issues that's how the quick settings toggles looks like if any notification appear it will dis i mean you can see it from here and this is the volume panel what we can i will come back here and dialer again you get this kind of dialer here direct video call feature is there and also and you guys can see you can't even read where the calling is going on that's the bug here that's the bug what i have noticed oh, i am in the call actually i haven't seeing this as a notification here that's the bug in this particular room overall it's a great room and coming to positives and this particular room this qs panel is very different from any other versions of android and android version is 13 here it might be negative for some people if you want latest and greatest you can check out android 14 based custom roms out in my channel and overall it's a great rom if you want to use it as a delta definitely it is recommended we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now